Alright, hi everybody. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make uh, a free game inside Roblox Studio. Um, this will be the uh, part four, I think it is now. Uh, and today I'll actually be showing you how to make this upgrade button. Now, this video will be very, very different. I am actually going to publish this workshop item. And once I publish this, I'm going to show you how to do it. But anyway, all it is is when we click play. Uh, so once we're in, we actually have an upgrade button, and we have the price and 50 clicks. So you can just press this, and we don't have enough, so it's tell us. We can close that, but then when we click to 50, and there we go, once we click to 50, we can buy it. And now, when we click, it should uh, click by 2. Now I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in this video. I'm going to press stop, and I'm going to get right into it. Alright, so I've deleted everything which I've already done in the game, and I have now published the model. You guys can actually go get this model, I'm going to click the minimize button, and return back to my Roblox Studio. Now, once you've downloaded it, or got it, uh, it should be in here, in the toolbox, but for me I'll just click it in here. Uh, drag this in, and click OK. Once it's dragged in, you should have it here. You guys don't need to look at this, but... Um, if you want to you can uh, so we have the ungrouped JavaScript service so it's pretty self explanatory you're just gonna uh, drag this into JavaScript service hit control U or right click and ungroup and now you have these two scripts right so one is the original leader stats and one is the new one the new one has uh, something called click upgrade which tells the player which shows the server how many um, how many upgrades the player has done so uh, when you click the button it will change from however many this the value of click upgrade is uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to delete the one which you had before which is this one and there we go now scroll back up again and drag the ungroup and starter GUI into your starter GUI now once you've had this uh, minimize it or whatever click the arrow right click on it ungroup now once you've ungrouped it you actually have two main GUIs you can remove the one you already have or you can edit from the existing one so now you should have two main GUIs uh, all you need to do is actually just uh, get the text button in the frame and drag this into this main GUI delete the main GUI you put in uh, and that should be it so once you've done this uh, and set the main GUI and everything up, you can just delete the model which we dragged in, click play, and now that we're in, notice how we actually uh, put in a new local um, leader stat inside, but it doesn't show up here. That's because the leader stats actually sh um, I made it so it's underneath the player. So we click players, Trooper Hero 25. It's actually just its own little uh, int value inside of the player. It's not in the leader stats folder. Um, so this click upgrade, as you notice, is one. We can set this to any number. So d don't set it from here. Uh, you can actually just click and actually play the game how you normally would. Now I'm actually going to use an auto clicker for testing purposes and uh, change this to zero and just <laughs> let it click. And wow, what are the odds of me landing go that number? Um, but anyway, now you want to click upgrade, um, and then this menu should open up. The price, 50 clicks, and then plus one. You guys can actually add multiple buttons. I'll show you how you can do that once I've done this. So click that, and it should change the uh, click upgrade value to two. If you click close and press the button, it should change by two every time. And you can pretty much just keep doing this again and again and again. So look, I can get really good at this game really quickly. Um, now I'm actually going to show you how to add multiple of these of the buttons, so you can have like a one for one and then one for ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this frame visible. Once I've made it visible, I'm going to click the arrow and click on buy button one duplicate it and rename it to buy button 2 just so we know which one's which we can drag um, buy button 2 down by just 
holding in this white blank area drag it there and there we go now we need to actually find out uh, how much more would be if we were to add 10 every time but I'm actually going to add 5 and then a 10 down here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy button I'm going to uh, change the price to how many this would be 50 times 5 uh, so which would be 250 clicks so you actually need to go into here go onto this text label change the text to 250 clicks and now it says that you can actually uh, now change the, the actual text inside of the text button to plus uh, 5 and there we go so now we have a 5 button but we actually need to change the script inside for this to work now I've actually made this really easy for you all you can do is actually just change this price to whatever you want so uh, price equals what was it 250 so you type the price here and it should be all good um, but I'm actually going to add an update where I'll just uh, do this here you guys can actually follow this if you want but I'm going to go local uh, value add uh, equals and then you can type down whatever it's going to add to the uh, clicks upgrade so I'm going to set it to 5 right oh yeah so once you've done this you can actually just put in here uh, value add so this will just add what's ever in here so equals 5 uh, plus add value add uh, now this on the other hand uh, we can actually change this to price as well and that should work and now when we click the X and uh, we set the frame to invisible click play and now when we click it should be fine and we go bring ourselves up to 50 so we're going to test this so 50 clicks still works no problem now we're going to bring ourselves up to 250 clicks we can click this and if we now enter pl the players trooper here is only five and it should have added five so now we'll go up seven every single time uh, now just like that that works you click stop I'm gonna add another one for 10 so we're gonna set this to invisible duplicate the buy button again I'm going to drag this down but before I drag it down I'm actually going to rename it to buy button 3 drag it down I'm sorry uh, but I had a little intrusion in my, into my room uh, but anyway we'll carry on so we need to calculate what 50 times 10 is okay so uh, we need to put uh, 500 into this box here so we are going to change the text here to 500 uh, now once we change that we also need to change the actual text inside the text button to plus 5 to plus 10 and now we have a 1 5 and 10 button now as usual we need to change the script so we can just change the price to uh, what 500 and then the value add to 10 that's all you need to do is just change that uh, set the frame to invisible click play and just like that we are in the game if we click to 50 we can click upgrade click that and it says we can't afford it but we I just clicked it so now we click it it should do it by two now if we click to 250 and click this uh, the click upgrade should be at seven and we should go seven times for a second for to click actually uh, then now we're at 500 we can click it and it'll add 10 and now it does 10 17 every click now you can actually get really good at this game really easily so I'm gonna actually get to show you how to add, add rebirths into this game in my next video uh, which will probably uh, 
uh, give you some boosts, uh, like maybe change the click upgrade by one, just to make it like a two times click or whatever, like a little boost. Uh, but anyway, I think that'll be it for today's video. If this did help you or you did enjoy this in any way, a like would be always be appreciated. And also, uh, I would really like it if you would subscribe because I really like doing this. I enjoy doing it, and I want to keep like showing you guys how to do cool things like this. Um, but anyway, as always, goodbye.